What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make a breakdown video on an interview that I saw a while back. Um, this is a 10 or 12 year old interview with Matt Mladen. Now, let me just start off by saying I don't associate anything um, that he does off track. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not aligned with those views at all. I don't need to get in the details here, but we can't take away from him that he was a phenomenal racer. With that being said, let's just get into the clip. I've always had my, the way that I've done you know, I race a road race bike similar to a motocross bike. I just like to get it in deep and get it squared up and and get it turned and get it off the corner as quick as possible. Um, as opposed to say corner speed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, corner speed's no good to anybody. If someone's stuck in front of you and you know that doesn't have corner speed, what are you going to do with your corner speed? There's <laughs> not much you can do with it, is it? Yeah. You're going to ride off the racetrack, I suppose. I don't know. So, but if I get in the if I so let me stop it right here and just kind of mention that. What he's talking about is that elite group that he's in of racers. He's in a, a very high level group. Back then it was called AMA. Those guys are within a second or two off from each other, right? It's not, we're not comparing a, a guy at the track day that's in novice to an advanced guy. Obviously the advanced guy can easily pass him on the outside. But what he's referring to is guys that are within a second or so. So, but if I get in the, if I outbreak somebody with any corner speed, um, and I decide I'm going to park into the middle of the corner, there ain't nothing they're going to do about it. They're not going to ride around the outside because I see someone on the outside is going to put them in the grass, right? So it, it's corner speed's completely overrated, 100%. So, yeah. I mean, look at Grand Prix, the guy with the least amount of corner speeds winning the world championship and is a seven or eight time world champion. That's Rossi. So Lorenzo and Pedrosa get around the corner quicker than Rossi. Just so happens he gets into it and off it better than they do. <laughs> so I mean that clip kind of tells us a couple things I think his style of writing is where he just likes to break as deep as possible into the corner and kind of shape up the corner and quickly turn it and just get on the gas versus some somebody that might get into the corner slightly less on the brakes and start to tip the bike over and stay uh, leaned over for a longer time this kind of resonates with something I heard a rider talk about with about Josh Hayes him and Josh Hayes were at a, a, a rider camp together I guess halfway through the day Josh comes up to all the riders and he goes, I bet you that my lowest speed in that corner, and they were talking about one specific corner, my lowest speed in that corner is going to be lower than everyone else that's riding here. But Josh happened to be the fastest rider that day. So what he was trying to say is that he gets into the corner so deep into the corner that he has to break in, quickly turn and get back on the gas versus someone that's carrying a little bit more corner speed but they're not on the brakes as deep, probably not even getting out of the corner as fast. What do you guys think about this? Are you guys more on the side of, I wanna break a little lighter and carry a little more corner speed? Or do you wanna break as deep as possible and just get the corner V'd off or kind of shaped off really fast into uh, the exit and just go ahead and take off? I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards what Matt and kind of Josh Hayes' philosophy on that corner exit, just quickly in and out, but I'm curious to see what you guys have to think about this. With that being said, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm gonna put out more videos just like this if you guys are interested. If you like the video, please comment below. If not, um, you know, still make a comment if you didn't like it or not. But until next time, see y'all later.